Hello, this is Ageless John, another tutorial for Android Studio. This tutorial will deal mostly with the design mode for Android Studio Design Tool. I'll be using Project Structure, which we created during the last tutorial, as an illustration in this tutorial. Alright, let us begin. Once you've got this loaded up and are in this main screen here, Make sure you've clicked on Activity Main XML. All right, now if you look at the bottom left, you'll see two tabs, Design and Text. You can switch between the editing the XML as text and editing it in the drag and drop designer just simply by clicking these tabs. The Text tab, you can work with the XML directly and later on you'll probably use this to uh, edit the XML when things either go wrong or you just want to fine-tune things uh, a tiny bit. However, Android Studio does provide you with a very interactive and very smart editor. On the left, you will see the palette full of layouts, widgets, text fields, containers, date, time, expert, and custom items. All of these items can be placed on the design surface. In the middle is the design surface or device screen. This provides a visual of sort of like a what you see is what you get of the user interface layout as you design it. The default size and appearance, as you can see, is the Nexus 4. Uh, that's what we're going to stick with during this tutorial. You can select other devices to work with if you so choose. Uh, but again, like I said, this tutorial I will be demonstrating on the default. To your right, you see here the component tree. This shows you the structure of your layout. Here you can see how different components are contained inside each other. In the component tree, you can select individual uh, user interface components by either clicking on them or their names. Uh, you can also select components on the design surface itself over here. In the component tree, you can even do something called morphing, uh, which is taking one component that is already part of the user's interface and changing it into another type. Below the component tree, you have the properties window that can be used uh, to set the properties of any component in the layout or change them. Also notice this little funnel-like symbol. By default, Android only shows the most commonly used features, but if you click here, uh, you will be able to see uh, what's called the expert mode, uh, and then this will display all the options. Uh, this will only work if there are options that are hidden. Here you can also uh, change things. For instance, let's change the color to yellow for the background. Now you could have done that uh, the same way uh, through the XML files. Uh, so we'll go to the XML files and we'll look at C. For this demonstration, I will change it back to white or the default value. And then I click on text. And then right here is what I'm going to change. I've already copied and pasted in a comment down here below. Uh, I'll take this out, put it up here, I'll click it, go back, and there you go, yellow. And that's how that works. In our app, the only component is a single text view here that contains the words Hello World. A text view is one of the standard components we'll be using a lot uh, during this uh, tutorial. Uh, you can change this greeting if you wish to. Uh, so let's change it to I love apps. First, select text view component on the component tree to the right or in the design image. Then go to the properties window, the bottom right, and the text property. Change the text from hello world to I love apps. You can also do this by double clicking on the text view here and just typing in your message. Uh, there's a lot of instances where you can just uh, double click on a visible object and change its properties. If you uh, do change it like this, uh, you should also be aware that you have to, you should provide an ID for the component. Uh, this is actually something that you will learn about later uh, when, when you start using IDs. Uh, IDs are extremely useful. Let's talk about the device screen. The device screen, of course, as I've already mentioned, is a, what you see is what you get uh, representation uh, of a cell phone. Uh, the bar at the top is either, some people call it an app bar or an action bar. And this down here at the bottom, you've got, of course, the close, the return, and the back buttons. And sometimes there'll be a little 
floating icon down here near the bottom uh, that looks like an email button uh, and that's called a floating action button. Finally I'd like to talk about the components of the palette. There are several different sections and they have several different pieces each. Uh, what I've done is I put a link at the bottom here under, under my tutorial in the description to my website and I've listed uh, these uh, individual pieces and uh, put a description behind them so that you can look at that, read it at your leisure and find out more details in this. A lot of these we will not be using uh, for this uh, introductory tutorial but it's a useful resource and I put a link at the bottom of it also describing the original website from which I took these uh, as a reference. So there it is. This is Ageless John. Glad you could join me. Hope I see you next time. Don't forget, please subscribe and thumbs up.